Welcome back to another episode of Thuwe Outdoors. I'm Caleb, and in this video, we are going to be using big lures to catch even bigger fish. The action was on, and we were having a blast. So come along with us for this epic fishing adventure, and stay tuned, because we catch some big ones. All right, we are headed to the fishing spot. Nice, Coda. Thank you for that. And guys, it is the second day that it has been 60 degrees out here. I decided to take my beautiful wife out fishing. We are going to go after some trout. All right, I'm going to go over my rod and reels while we're walking here. Got the Fluger Presidential combination reel. I don't think this is... Oh, geez, I'm hearing stuff rustling in the bushes. I don't think this is even available anymore, guys. This is limited edition. They've kind of started with their new Fenwick Eagle line, I believe. And I also have one of these because I love the Fluger Presidential lineup so much. Got a spinner on this, but I'll probably swap that to something a little heavier. Put my spinner on this one. And then I've got my ugly stick dock runner with another little Fluger. This is the Monarch reel. It's a little jig rigged up on there. So yeah, we're covering all the bases today. I'd like to see the water level before we talk about conditions, but for now, it's a beautiful day, guys. 550, temperature is just under 60 degrees. And we've got a little bit of wind, a little chilly. I didn't bring a jacket, I might pay for that. But yeah, it's looking to be a beautiful night, guys. Beautiful day. Just looking at the water conditions right now. Oh, I just saw a fish rise. Water is looking kind of medium right now. It's not low. There is, there's definitely been some higher water and more water coming through here. Looks a little easier over there to get down. But this looks good. This is my first time fishing over here, guys. Uh, oh, it's slippery and muddy. Be careful, babe. <laughs> Let's try a little spinner. This is a Blue Fox Vibrax spinner, guys, size 2. Imitates a rainbow. Do not have a swivel on it, which I suggest you do have. First cast, baby. Oh, I'm seeing fish jumping out there in the current pretty far. Yeah, do it. Make room. Oh, yeah, it was. I might need to pull the jig out. Stay. Monster, monster, monster. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh gosh, my leader is not strong enough for this current, guys. I think that's a cutty. Let me get in there. Oh gosh. That's a beautiful fish. That's a cutthroat, I think. Guys. I've got him gilled a little. I really want to get it out of him. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, we could eat that thing, but I don't know if it's considered a Yellowstone cutthroat. It's best to probably keep these things as healthy as possible. Okay, I think he'll be fine. Hold on, let me put him in the water for a second. rinsed a little. Oh. That is definitely my PB cutthroat. What an absolute beast. Let's get a sweet release on him. Whew. Let's go baby. Safe release. Big fish. We are going to get back in there, as I always say. How's what? Like second cast? I think third. I cast it upstream, played it nice and slow, let it get low. And yeah, I felt like I set the hook into a rock, but that was a big old cut bow. What did it feel like when it... All right, this is going to be a fun little segment, guys. I'm going to try to catch a big one on the dock runner. I use this rod for ice fishing. And it's got pretty good strength. I would say the power is like a medium fast. I just honestly want to see how well I can cast this and see how well I can fight a fish on this teeny little rod, if we can get one. Throwing on a fresh three inch Berkeley Gulp Minnow onto a quarter ounce jig head. Beautiful. Is that your microphone on? Yeah. And that's what we're working with, guys. Just doing the Fluger Presidential. Actually, this is the Monarch Reel. Let's get a cast on this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, this does not have any jigging length. <laughs> you can't get it far out there. No, the casting's not great, but I don't know. We'll see. You never know. It is the dock runner. It's meant for docks. <laughs> snagged right there. Yeah, I don't know about this one, but there we go. Let's see it. Hold up. Dakota. This is a clip from earlier this week. I went out fishing, but unfortunately my GoPro footage got corrupted and I ended up with no audio. We ended up having some luck though with my jig. Um, that being said, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, guys, just enjoy this brown trout hookup and release and have a good one. Go, baby. 
Got him on my limited edition Fluger. And a nice little Berkeley jig there. He wrecked that thing, guys. I'm gonna wash my hands and get back in there. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. I love y'all. Peace.